All right, guys. This is the, uh, I don't know, the jack shaft, I guess, or the part of the counter shaft. But yeah, I guess that's probably the counter shaft. Uh, at any rate, uh, Mike Wiggins wanted to check out the bearings that I've got on here because I said they were kind of similar to the ones that he has on his uh, Pratt & Whitney. So these are SKF bearings from Hartford, Connecticut, I guess. And I do not see any part numbers on these. Uh, let me roll it over. Uh, these are not in as good a condition as his. Everything's uh, kind of frozen here. I have to pardon the handheld here. Uh, you know what? There Maybe there is a part number on here. And it says pillow block. There we go. 1511 is a tag on it. Or at least it was a you know, a tag when they cast it. Uh, I don't know if this is helping you a whole lot, Mike. It's like grease plugs here in the bottom. And then there's also some on the top. Yeah, see, there's one right here on the top. Hey, anyway, right. There's the uh, cone pulley. Four step. I'm so happy to have this. Boy, this would be a real pain to manufacturer your own uh, comes with this big heavy duty uh, v-belt pulley and here's the motor this is probably sort of valuable to the collectors this is an old Fairbanks Morris I think it's a three horsepower but uh, things are things are a bit stuck uh, Mike I don't know if you got any good advice on like how I should proceed with taking that apart Never really worked on any motors, and uh, you know this this bearing on this side seems to be frozen. Hopefully, I can take it apart and replace it or get it f freed up. This one over here, that one's moving, but it doesn't move very well. It kind of stops right there. At any rate, uh, that's it for that. Uh, here's another little, you know, we can get sidetracked just a little bit. Here's my latest acquisition. A buddy of mine gave me this uh, a Buffalo uh, Buffalo Forge drill, and you know the price is right. He just gave it to me. And unfortunately, they've got this ridiculous safety guard on here, and they've they've taken the cone pulley off and and gotten rid of the original motor. Uh, I'm assuming that these came with motors on them. Kind of looks like a motor base there. But uh, I don't know, I, I have to do some more research on this and see if, uh, if this was line shaft driven or, uh, or if that was, you know, an independent machine. It's a bench top model. Uh, I would prefer a, a full size machine, but you know, this is what we got. And also these exposed miter gears, that seems kind of like normally they have a guard over these things. I don't know if that's something that clamps on or maybe this model just didn't come with one i don't know any anyway, rate that's it for today guys i've been uh working hard i'm trying to build a web page it's uh, oldironshops.com if you want to check it out i've got all of one blog post up there but uh i plan to write more so we'll see you guys around